I've been through about 14 doctors. I mean, she was going to extremes to try and just lift the pain off just a little bit. She even cut her hair off because she figured that that would help her neck. When I look back and I think about all the doctor visits, I remember being in the office with Danny and whatever physician we were with at that time and then say, well, it's in her head or something to that nature. I c could see her eyes fill up with tears and I would just put my hands on her face and I would say to her, I am not gonna stop. You will not suffer one more day if I have anything to do about it. I got my wisdom teeth taken out and I got prescribed the medication that she got prescribed for just if she had a really bad day. You know, here, take some narcotics, you know. In late 2013, a genetic test finally helped doctors diagnose Danny with ankylosing spondylitis. This is a type of inflammatory arthritis that primarily affects the spine, causing the ligaments to become inflamed. The cartilage then fuses to the vertebrae, causing the spine to fuse, causing immobility. After all medical treatments failed to help Danny, from a host of anti-inflammatories to methotrexate, which is a chemotherapy drug usually given to cancer patients, as well as tumor necrosis factor inhibitors, and some of the most powerful narcotics available, she then underwent fetal stem cell therapy on July 25th, 2014. She had this smile from ear to ear. I hadn't seen that smile in so long. The minivan brought her back to our hotel. She says, Mom, let's go for a walk. Let's go shopping and go out to eat. And I was like, what? Who are you? Within a week of getting the stem cells, I stopped taking all of my medicines. They weren't allowing me to be me. Uh, they changed my personality so much. And that's something that stem cells has given me. It's given me the ability to be me because I don't have to poison my body with all the other medicines that change who I am. Danny is now a Division I athlete whose rowing team reached the NCAA championships. Rowing is probably one of the most physically demanding sports you can do. It works every single muscle in your body. I had no clue with even all of my hours of research that this type of therapy was even available. So she had an MRI and the MRI did show after the first year that the degeneration of her bones stopped. Well, we just had our MRI number two for the second anniversary of her getting off all of her medication. And not only did the generation, degeneration stop, but the bones on her pelvis had grown back and they had grow, grown back symmetrically. So uh, we've had some really good news this year. You know, we didn't really know what kind of future she was gonna have when she was diagnosed with this disease because it was more like brace yourself, she could spend the rest of her life in a wheelchair. My daughter has experienced something short of a miracle and now it's time to take care of myself. So I decided to come to MCEL with my mom and receive fetal stem cell treatment just to be preventative and to start taking care of myself. The reason why I'm here is because my daughter more or less asked me to come. I, I wasn't going to, but you know, she believed in it so much. So I've been having trouble with rheumatoid arthritis for four years. I've been taking shots for it. It's to the point where I have, uh, my immune system is extremely low and uh, the medicine didn't seem to be helping real well. So they had to take me off the medicine. The limitations is that I couldn't do anything. I, I can't unscrew a cap from a bottle, nothing. They thought maybe I had cancer, so they took me to a cancer center. I had all kinds of tests there. Uh, everything was negative, and so this was my last resort. And I'm actually uh, 
sleeping better because I wasn't sleeping at all. With that, I'd wake up in the middle of the night with my hands hurting, my ankles hurting, um, my neck hurting, um, but I'm starting to sleep better. So already, this is day three, and you're starting to sleep better? Like, you're yeah. less pain already? Yes, from the I, I, yes. Um, last night I didn't wake up at all. And usually I do, and I sleep with a uh, heating pad. Usually every night and every hour on the hour, I would actually wake up when, it, you know, so I could get my hands on the heat just to make them feel better. But um, I haven't had to do that. Uh, last night we came home from the restaurant and we went in the hotel room and there were so many of us in the lobby so Deanna and I decided to take the stairs and we're on the seventh floor and we were just talking and we got up to the fifth floor and I said, Deanna, I, I, I just took five flights of stairs and I'm going up two more which I haven't been able to because of my knees been hurting. It's hard to get up and down the stairs, you know what I mean, you just worry about falling but Last night I went up and didn't even think about it until we started laughing. We have some more good news. Uh, not only is Danny completing her degree at UCF this December 2018, but this January 2018, um, my daughter is newly engaged to Taylor, her roommate from UCF. They'll be getting married in South Africa in January 2019. So not only has my daughter, not only has she been healed, but now she's been able to start her life and she's doing so well and she's so happy.